the regulator from the belt keeper. Make sure the O-ring is present and in good condition. Check the release buttons for smooth operation. Check that the spider gasket and valve disc are present and in good condition. Make sure that the nose cup is clean, undistorted and properly installed. Gently roll back the nose cup valve disc. It must be clean, flexible and intact. Check the valve seat. It must be free of dirt, cracks, tackiness or any condition that could interfere with a good seal. To connect a Firehawk push to connect regulator, press the release buttons and remove the regulator from the keeper. Orient the regulator with the bypass knob to the right. Push the regulator into the inlet connector until it locks. Check proper engagement by tugging on the regulator. Inhale to start airflow. Check the bypass. Press the shutoff button and pull the regulator out of the inlet port. Close the cylinder valve. Open the bypass to release system pressure. Close the bypass. To help prevent moisture and debris from entering the Firehawk regulator, stow it in the belt keeper. Only the face piece requires cleaning and disinfecting after each use. Use MSA Confidence Plus germicidal cleaner or similar germicidal cleaner, a sponge or soft bristled scrubbing brush, and a clean, soft, lint-free cloth. Do not use alcohol as a germicide because it may deteriorate rubber parts. Follow label instructions to mix MSA Confidence Plus germicidal cleaner into warm water, no hotter than 110 degrees Fahrenheit. Hot water may distort the rubber parts. Use a soft brush or sponge to wash the face piece and nose cup thoroughly. Clean the exhalation valve by opening and closing it while flushing with clean water. Rinse in clean running water no hotter than 110 degrees Fahrenheit. Remove all traces of the cleaning solution. Cleaning solution left on the rubber may irritate your skin. Wipe off excess water and allow the face piece to air dry. Do not force dry. Make sure water doesn't enter the regulator. Allow the regulator to air dry.